When I was working on these here mini granny squares, a few people were asking me what I do to finish off these yarn ends because they're so short. And when there are lots of yarn ends, I try to keep them very short, partly because I don't want to waste yarn. But it depends a bit also on what it is, because this here thing that's going to be a cushion cover is not something that's going to be washed very often, so you don't need to work very much with the yarn ends. And also this is wool, not something slippery. But the question actually is, how do you work when the yarn ends are shorter than your needle? <laughs> So that's what we're going to look at now. And this is now the last of quite a few videos that I have filmed here in Las Palmas. For the last week here, I moved to this penthouse apartment over the main shopping street. And next week I'll be in Ireland. Now to the yarn ends. So here's what I'm going to work with. And here's my needle. I like to have a reasonable size needle and for me it's important that it's a sharp needle. So I do not use tapestry needles for weaving in except if the yarn is really chunky. There are quite a few yarn ends to weave in and I'm doing two different kinds now to show. And let's take this one here, the center of a granny square. And the yarn has gone round inside the stitches once. But that is not enough to cut it off, otherwise it will come out. And the simple tip with any short yarn ends is that you first pass the needle wherever it needs to go and then you put the yarn into the needle. So the yarn is there and it's coming this way. So what I'm going to do is I go a little bit in front of it, there, and go back the opposite direction. So I'm passing the needle in here and um, I mentioned that I always use a sharp needle and the reason for this is that I like the needle to be able to go through the fibers instead of going round them only because that way the yarn is in there far tighter and it's going to last longer. So I'll go as far as I can with this here and then take the yarn and put it into the needle and pull and tighten a bit. And for now that it's gone round once and then backwards this much and it's wool that's not slippy and because the needle was sharp and it's gone through the fibers that is enough so it's not going to come out. Some people, <laughs> I have several videos about finishing off yarn ends and quite regularly I get the question if the yarns are going to come out. And I can definitely say honestly that nothing has ever come out. Whatever way I have been finishing them off. So that was that one there now. And then I'll take another one. Let's say this here one now. So that's in a different place. It's not the one that goes in the middle. It has been inside the stitches a little bit, but not, not a very long time. And you always need to go across one yarn. So you don't put the needle where the actual yarn is, otherwise it, you know, it might even come loose. But you always go across one yarn and then put that there. Now you can go further like this here, you know, if you see where the yarn is going. It's going through that there where the same color is continuing on the other side there. So there. And uh, now through there and I tighten and again this is enough. I can cut it now because it already went backwards a little bit. And by the way, did you notice that you can now join my channel as well? I said I was going to do two but I'll do one more. So here's this one, which is end. By the way, you always turn it on the wrong side then. So here I'm doing the same now. It's in there. I don't start exactly at the same spot, but in here. And I go under there. And where did it go? <laughs> There's it there. So I'll pull that through. Now this here one had not been 
going under stitches anywhere. So I might, in this case, want to go back a little bit to make sure that it's secure. So again here, important that you don't put the yarn in, that you don't put the needle in the same place, but that you cross, uh, you go across yarn, one, one yarn. And then I'm going here backwards and inserting it there. Now it is very secure. And then I continue with all of them. I know that some people don't like this work, but I find it very relaxing. I do this when I'm watching TV or Netflix or something. And I never do it so that I have to rush with it. So I only do a little bit at a time. Thank you for watching. See you next time.